Hey Wildcats, I'm Zach. And I'm Logan. And welcome back to this week's Wildcat News. So that's what y'all want me to say, bro. For lunch, you have cheese pizza, chicken fajitas with onions and peppers, chef salad, spicy chicken pizza, assorted fresh fruit, coleslaw romaine, and spinach salad, mini corn on the cob, and warm tortillas. Enjoy the lunch. So, Logan, what you doing this weekend? I'm actually not up to anything. Let's check in with Damien for the weather. Hi, Wildcats. I'm Damien, and here's the weather for the weekend. Today's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 88 and a low of 66, and a 68% humidity rate. On Saturday, it will be sunny with a high of 88 and a low of 71, with a 72% humidity rate. Finally, on Sunday, it's rainy with a high of 86 and a low of 72, with a 76% humidity rate. That's all for the weather. Now back to our anchors. I've been so busy, I couldn't check up on sports. Me neither. Let's see what Leo and Victoria have to tell us. Hey Wildcats, I'm Leo. And I'm Victoria. The NBA playoffs are in action and our Miami Heat team are currently tied 1-1 to -one in the series against the New York Knicks. Jimmy went down with an ankle injury late in Game 1. We wish him a speedy recovery to be ready for Game 3 on Saturday. The other series in the Eastern Conference is between the Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers, which is also tied 1-1. to -one. In the Stanley Cup's playoffs, the Florida Panthers pulled off one of the greatest upsets in sports history. After coming back from 3-1 down to defeat the Boston Room Bruins in an overtime thriller Game 7. The Panthers now face the Toronto Maple Leafs in the second round. We wish them the best of luck for the rest of the playoffs. Speaking of playoffs, our Wildcat basketball team begins their playoff run next Tuesday. Remember to wish every player the best if you see them in the halls. That's all for this week's sports. Now back to the anchors. Daniela Champney, the manager for Connect to Protect Network from Fairchild, delivered and donated beautiful native plants over a week ago. Unfortunately, as Earth Day was coming up by our custodial staff, that they had seen students running and stepping on the new plants in our garden. Additionally, Ms. Bornard was informed that the plant next to the fence in the spillout zone got stepped on. Uh, so in order to protect both butterfly gardens, we want to make sure that we're not running on the mulch, that we're not stepping on the native plants because these are um, they provide food for endangered butterflies. Like Ms. Bornot said to all teachers, we please ask everyone to not step on the mulch and plants in our garden. These plants are rare to find and provides food for our butterflies. We are trying to uh, bring back the fine rockland habitat because we only have 2% of it left in Miami-Dade County due to the building of houses and, and businesses. The students from the Science Club have done a lot for the garden and it is disappointing for all of us to see this happen. We give special thanks to Ms. Bornoff for letting us interview her. That's all for this segment and now we go back to the anchors. Congratulations to Mr. Kamat and Ms. Haven Carroll for winning the Blue Ribbon Month poster contest. Grad Venture will be taking place Friday, May 5th. We hope all our 8th graders have fun. That's all for this week's Wildcat News. I'm Logan. And I'm Zach. Bye. Bye. Hey, Wildcats. I'm <laughs> <laughs> to wish every player the best if you see. What are you doing? If you see him in the hall. So, Logan, are you free this weekend? No, I'm on Grad Venture, Zach. Let's check in with the weather. <laughs> 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 <laughs>